Hey everybody, well, you see I'm wearing this again. You know what that means. Uh-huh, standing. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. Um, got a, quite a few things to show you this uh, week. So, it's a little chilly out, but it's still a nice sunny day here in Colorado. So, we can uh, get out here and get a little uh, exercise, which is good. Who doesn't need exercise? So let's take a look at what we're doing. Okay, so we've got the engine cover here and uh, we're starting to block sand it. And we can see all of the low spots when you block sand. And so we're trying to flatten those all out. If we go down to the material, um, sort of like you can see there, uh, that's when we stop and we'll put on another layer of epoxy and then we can start sanding again in an effort to get all of this flat. So anyway, it's going to be quite a bit of work, but I think the final results will be uh, really good, really nice. Uh, we got a lot of the panels fitting up well. I did have to cut these corners as I showed you in another video. Um, we're going to laminate carbon fiber in there. Uh, also use some mechanical uh, fasteners uh, to make sure that that uh, corner doesn't crack. So, again, this is not structural stuff. Uh, so, and the engine cover itself actually sits on a steel carriage, so that will help to keep it from flexing. Um, so, we're working on this. Let's go see some of the other stuff we're working on. Now, those of you who've been following the Facebook page uh, have seen this already, but I uh, want to give you guys a chance to take a look. Tell me what you think. Uh, we did a little red. Um, this is just tape, so I can take it off. But something to accent uh, the rear of the car. Since we are going to use red as our accent color on the interior, we're going to do some of it on the outside. Um, I want it relatively subdued, but I think this looks pretty good. I get, I'm getting mixed reactions, of course. Uh, most of the initial thoughts were uh, positive, and it's kind of growing on me. So since it's tape, we can leave it on there for a while, and then uh, see if it grows on me or irritates me. <laughs> um, so we'll we'll see if that. Uh, is something that we're going to leave permanent. And then uh, the next thing that we've done is we printed these guys. So these guys go down here and we'll sit in to those sections. Um, just like, this is kind of like the real one. So uh, we went ahead and 3D printed some of these out. And again, we'll finish them, uh, paint them, and then secure them in here. So. I think it'll, again, add a nice touch to the rear end. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on these gaps here. So what I did notice is there's a bit of a bow to the bumper, like here. So we're gonna do come come by and cut it straight across, and then we'll be able to lift the, the diffuser up and close those gaps so it's a nice tight fit. So that's something that we're gonna uh, be working on. So back down here in our nice clean 3D printing room and epoxy area. Uh, remember we brought that in because we didn't want uh, any problems with the epoxy. So what we've been doing is we've been smoothing this out and it's, it's just really nice and smooth. And I think um, from here, uh, we're gonna do the sides in the uh, in this, which is the uh, forged carbon look. Um, we sanded all this one down, and then we'll probably reapply it to all of the front, so giving it a uniform texture. And you can see we've got some issues up here that um, that will help repair. Um, and then we'll blend it all together and uh, block sand it and then uh, clear over the epoxy. And hopefully we'll have a really nice part. The other thing we've been doing is these are the new um, 3D prints for the uh, scoops on the side of the car. 
So the ones I had done before just quite didn't fit, so I took some careful measurements. Um, printed out a new one, checked it, made sure it fit, and then went ahead and print, printed the whole thing. So these are in ABS, so they're nice and uh, uh, stable. Um, here's the beginnings of the other side, and then our printer is going at it for the last piece in there. So I'm getting really good prints from this, so if you guys want to uh, get yourselves one of these. It's a Queedy X Max. Um, this thing just is a workhorse. Um, so it's really great. I mean, it just makes really nice prints. And one of the other things we've done is this guy right here, which is the, our little uh, side scoop. Um, so this is replacing those steel ones I showed you earlier. Uh, these are turning out really nice as well um, and very. So, uh, well, very, uh, we still have joints that we have to fix, but, uh, we'll sand those down, uh, body work them and then paint them. So I think these are going to turn out really nice. Uh, these may do the forged carbon look. I don't know. Well, we've, uh, sanded this down, repaired the, uh, cracks, um, in the engine cover and uh, put our last layer of uh, filler on it. So we'll sand most of that off, get it nice and flat. Um, then we'll hit it with some uh, epoxy with uh, black in it and then redo the, um, the chopped carbon fiber look. So, so stay tuned for that. So that's our next update. Um, it's uh, pretty nice here in Colorado. We've, I think we're going to have about a 72 to 73 degree day. Um, so I'm trying to bang out a lot of this uh, sanding work uh, that we're doing uh, because these days are numbered and that means that I'll be sanding in the freezing weather. So, uh, which, you know, what are you going to do over the winter time? We got to make progress on the car. So <laughs> anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, and uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, appreciate all the constructive criticism as well. Take care. Bye.